Um, I don't know what it's like for you guys that have large collections of gear. I, I don't have that many, but I do try and run them for a couple of hours every month to make sure that they, they stay working. Uh, when I restored the Dynatuner, um, all was well, although it did feel like it was running a little hot. And I remember commenting at the time that maybe the transform mains transformer didn't like the 50 hertz. Um, so uh, I fired it up the other day and it was working fine, but running somewhat hotter than the last time I ran it. Um, so here I am two or three days later, ran it up again tonight. And the thing is vibrating. <laughs> And there's a buzz off it that is just amazing. So this mains transformer is shaking itself to bits. So uh, I'm going to have to take this thing apart and get a look at that transformer and see if I can just tighten it all up. Or am I going to have to go on the... This is going to be something a lot more serious than this. Um, and so before I get to any more major projects, it looks like I'm going to have a number of maintenance projects to do. So this is one of them. The other one is the very first project I think that I ever did, which was that Pi P53. Uh, I ran that the other day, and after about an hour it started to develop a, like a low frequency oscillation. So depending on how you set the tone control, it would, after a while, suddenly start uh, this very low rumble tone uh, that got worse and worse. Uh, so then you have to switch it off. So I'm going to have to go and look at that as well. Um, yeah. So... Uh, Maintenance work to be done before I get stuck into anything else new. Well, I might be in luck here. I um, I found the bolts holding the transformer together were slightly loose, and the bolts holding it to the chassis. So I give everything a good tighten up, and uh, there's no uh, vibration at all now. So I think we might be out of the hole on this one. Uh, my uh, previous view that I had sorted out the buzzing on this by tightening up the bolts on the transformer may have been a little bit premature because right now it works just fine with the case off. But if I put the case on it just starts buzzing so it feels like there's some sort of magnetic coupling between the transformer and the case or I can't think of what else it could be, uh, but the moment I put that case on there, man, this thing starts to buzz um, noticeably, uh, which can't be good, and is obviously going to uh, exacerbate the overheating problem. So, uh, more investigation to do there, I'm afraid. Well, I've been in the wars with this guy for a little while, the old Dyna tuner. Um, the buzzing uh, of the chassis uh, uh, actually turned out to be the thing was magnetically coupling with the mains transformer. So I found that any metal that came within like about two to three millimeters of the top of the transformer would suddenly start magnetically coupling and, and buzzing like crazy. Um, so initially I tightened up the um, all the bolts holding the transformer together and holding it onto the chassis. Um, that made it better, but it didn't completely go away. However, because you could nag it down to like a mil and a half before it would start to buzz, um, initially I thought I'll put a piece of wood on top of the transformer so that the, the case here can't actually get close enough to cause a problem. Um, however, separately it started to develop a, a hum, which would vary from barely noticeable to really very noticeable. Um, and it was one of those intermittents where when you tip up one corner of the um, chassis it would get worse or better. Um, and so, um, <laughs> anyway, that turned out to be the multi-electrolytic, the filter cap that I replaced. Um, because it doesn't screw onto the chassis, it has these lugs that uh, you twist. And I didn't twist them tight enough, so it was actually very, it was very slightly loose on the chassis. And of course the, the ground wires soldered to one of those lugs. So there was intermittent uh, contact to, to chassis ground. Um, so that's sent to me, that one. Um, <laughs> and, uh, so I think this transformer, I don't know the, what the life of this transformer is, because the fact that the magnetic field has changed, because clearly this has wasn't coupling like that when it was uh, new. Um, and so there's, 
I'd say something inside in the windings that's changed from before. Um, but at least for the moment we seem to be back in business and it sounds pretty good.